So we started out with a brute force algorithm. And the brute force algorithm basically considered 2 to the power of n assignments. Now let's look at our smart search tree or intelligent search tree and see how that is structured. And we're going to do a worst case analysis here. We start out with the graph where we don't have any assignments. And then we branch into three different possibilities. Up here, we don't know anything. So we have zero vertices assigned. Now, since we know that we can construct it so that in the next level, we will have at least two more vertices assigned. Here we know that we have at least two vertices assigned. Now we can go one level deeper. And again, we will branch into three possibilities all of the time because we're doing a worst case analysis. Of course, we could already be done or let's say we just continue. So in the next level, we have again, at least two more. So we have at least four vertices assigned and so on. So let's say we continue the search tree in this matter. So it will always get wider and wider and wider. Then we know two things. One is that the number of levels that we have can be at most n half, because every time we assign at least two vertices. So n and a half levels is the maximum number of levels that we can have, because after that, all vertices have been assigned. And another thing that we know is that, well, we start out with one possibility. And each time we go one level deeper, again, doing a worst case analysis here, the number of possibilities that we consider triples. The tree basically gets wider by a factor of three. The width is times three at each level. Now my question for you is, if you look at the lowest level of the search tree, each of these one down here is an assignment of zero and one to the vertices. What I would like you to think about is how many different assignments do we have at this level down here, level n and a half. And you can assume for simplicity that n is an even number, so n half will be some integer. So I'll give you a number of choices. Is it 2 to the power of n assignments that we have down here? Is it 3 to the power of n half assignments that we have down here? Is it 3 to the power of n? Is it 2 to the power of 3 times n? Or is it 2 to the power of n half times three. And you might have to think about this for a little bit, but just keep in mind the facts, the number of assignments that we are considering triples at each level, and we have n and a half levels 